People very frequently ask me about tags. What are they for? How should you use them? And what are some of the best tags to include? That's a great set of questions, so let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Sean and I started my movie channel, Sean Chandler Talks About, in the summer of 2016. And two and a half years later, I was lucky enough to be able to go full time with my nerdy hobby. This channel is all about helping you have similar success. Whatever that is for you, I want to do just a little bit to help you achieve that next goal that you have. Today, we are talking about tags. Now, tags are basically these words that you can add while you're uploading your video or afterwards. There's a little section where you click add more and there's a little chart where you can add tags to your videos. And this feature has been around on YouTube for a very long time. And so naturally the question is, what is it there for? Essentially, it's just an opportunity for you to give YouTube more information about what your video is about and what it's associated with the metadata. That's what it's called. So your title, the description and the tags are your metadata where you can give YouTube information to help them to decide a little bit more what they should do with your video. Here's the reality though. In the year 2021, and for years, YouTube and Google, who owns YouTube, their algorithms have not been based off of keywords, primarily. The primary function on YouTube are watch time and um, click-through rate and audience retention. So basically, what percentage of people click on it and then how long do they stick around on the video? That's how YouTube decides how to recommend things and they're systems are very intelligent. Like they are watching your video as you're uploading it and they're reading things. They know what words you're kind of saying and they're trying to guess which people are most likely to click on this video. But also keep in mind, YouTube is, their, their algorithm functions not to help your video, but to help viewers. They want to put a video in front of a viewer that they think the viewer will like. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to find the right videos for individual viewers. And so they're studying your channel history and their history, and they're trying to sync the two up. So how, how do tags play into this? Honestly, in the year 2021, tags are a pretty minor piece of anything. You can look at some of the, the big guns on YouTube right now, like Mark Rober, Mr. Beast. Some of these guys, they don't even po use tags anymore because they don't need to. There's no purpose for them to use tags because YouTube already knows who to recommend their videos to. YouTube already has enough information to recommend their videos to new people. And therefore, what is a tag going to do for Mr. Beast? And in similar case, like in my situation where I've been around for about five years, I have a very large audience. YouTube knows who clicks on my videos and they know who to recommend them to up front. And therefore, what tags I put in aren't going to be the thing that determines whether a video is a hit or not. So what is the purpose of tags? It gives YouTube a little bit more information. I, I've heard some YouTube experts say that it's used somewhat to basically spell check back and forth between the description, the title, and then the tags. So just in case a word was misspelled in any one of the three, the other two can check it and sync things up, but it, it gives them a bit more information. Here's the like reality. A hit great idea for a video with an awesome thumbnail, an awesome title is not going to sync because you put the wrong tags on it. And if your video failed, it's almost certainly not because of the tags. It's because you didn't have the best idea. You didn't have the best title. You didn't have the best uh, thumbnail. Something in that mix is why it didn't take off. So I, I say all that YouTube's algorithm is based off these other factors. And so what's the purpose of tags? We we'll keep going back to that. I, I'm not sure how much it factors in right now. YouTube provides it a place for you to add tags. Therefore, they value it enough to in still include it. Prior to a few years ago, it was just right there. It was right there. But now you have to click add more. Or there's like a little button you push and then it opens up and there you have tags to, to add stuff. That seems like they're devaluing it. 
It's like, okay, if you want to put, give us a little bit more information, help us out just a little bit more, click this. But they don't seem to think it's as important as they used to. I think that should tell you a lot about how much tags actually play into things. Your video is not going to be saved by the tags and your hit is not going to be sunk by the tags. What, how do I use tags? I use tags to basically include alternate phrases that people might use to search for the content of the video. So like this one, how do you use tags? What are tags for? What are the best tags? Like all of those are different questions that are all related to this video that might make for great tags for this video. Obviously, I haven't written the tags for this video yet, but you just think through what are all the different ways that someone could search for this one? If you're doing a review for um, Coming to America, that's a video I have publishing today. Coming to America, it's called Coming to the Number America. You can write Coming to America, the number to America movie review. Coming to America 2 movie review, because it's a sequel to Coming to America. Two different phrases similar to one another, but that's a different way that someone might search for that video. And so I just think through all the different ways someone could say it. All nine blank movies ranked. Every blank movies ranked. Two different versions, same idea, two different ways someone could search for that phrase. That's a big part of what I do. Think through what are the big terms associated with this video. So if it's a Marvel video, MCU video, Marvel, Marvel Comics, Stan Lee, MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Marvel Studios, all kind of those big gigantic phrases associated, I think through all of those ones, and just kind of brainstorm through it. They, you're allowed with 500 characters. I always try and max out the characters and get as close to it as I can because I want to give myself as much of an edge as I can. Here's the other thing. As much as I'm saying, I don't know how much they value, how much they actually factor into it. For most of the time, for the last three or four years, I've paid for the most expensive version of vidIQ. And so it's, it's I, sometimes it's on sale, but sometimes, sometimes it's $50 a month not cheap. And the primary purpose of it is to help with metadata, the way that I use it. And it recommends tags tubing and, you know, all these different ones. And so then I use the different tags and it'll score them based off of search volume versus the frequency of that tag to rate how good of a tag it is how good of a title you've come up with. And so it's just really good for brainstorming more tags for your videos. But I, I, I think about it more of in terms of the brainstorming the tags helps me write a better description. The brainstorming the tags helps me write a better title because you always have the most generic version of your title. And then you think, is there something else I could put in there that makes it more specific or gives YouTube more information? And so the whole process of Getting more tags makes me write a better description. And with the way that vidIQ works, there's also TubeBuddy's another one. The way that TubeBuddy works in vidIQ, the more you have in your description, the more that it information, its deal has to give, recommend better tags. And so I just cycle through that process of using the software to just generate as good of a title, as good of a description, and as good of tags as is possible to give YouTube everything they could possibly need to properly index my video, recommend it to the right people. Think about them as part of a whole system. Like your brainstorming of tags can help you write a better description, a better title. And if you use vid, there's a there's a free version of vidIQ, there's a $5 version of vidIQ, they, they have cheapy versions of these, and you can go look at other people's tags and you can just copy their tags. People copy my tags all the time and I copy other people's tags all the time. So you don't even need, need to pay the $50 a month or whatever it is for vidIQ. You can get the version where you can just look at other people's tags and you start writing stuff in there and you go, start thinking through better phrases for your title, better phrases for your description. That... I think is where the power really comes in, especially when you're smaller. I think it makes a bigger difference for me right now. I just don't even know. And as I said before, like Mr. Beast, he already has the click through rate, the watch time, his ideas, his thumbnails are so good. Adding the right phrase in there isn't going to make the difference. And just to throw this myth out there, there's definitely not magic tags that like, oh, you, you should always put these five tags in there. That's not a thing. There's nothing like that. And if there were, everyone would do it and would just counter counteract it. 
Like back in the day, people thought like, oh, I'll throw PewDiePie into my tags and that'll help me get recommended with PewDiePie. No, it's never really worked like that. It's not the way it worked. And everybody tried that stupid trick many times. It It just doesn't work like that. You want a great title, a great description, and then hopefully tags can be part of that process to flesh it out just a little bit. So unfortunately, I can't give you some good news and say, here, here's these three things, do these three things, and here's the immediate result that you'll get. The advice is, Think, use them as a mechanism to give YouTube more data and to brainstorm better description and a better title. There you have it. See you in the next video.